Do you weep over the choices you make? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. One young man went to apply for a managerial position in a big company. He passed the initial interview and now would meet the director for the final interview. The director discovered from his CV that the youth's academic achievements were excellent. He asked, did you obtain any scholarships in school? The youth answered, no. Was it your father who paid for your school fees? My father passed away when I was one year old. It was my mother who paid for my school fees, he replied. Where did your mother work? My mother worked as a clothes cleaner. The director requested the youth to show his hands. The youth showed a pair of hands that were smooth and perfect. Have you ever helped your mother wash the clothes before? Never. My mother always wanted me to study and read more books. Besides, my mother can wash clothes faster than me. The director said, I have a request. When you go home today, go and clean your mother's hands and then see me tomorrow morning. The youth felt that his chance of landing the job was high. When he went back home, he asked his mother to let him clean her hands. His mother felt strange, happy, but with mixed feelings. She showed her hands to her son. The youth cleaned her mother's hands slowly. His tear fell as he did that. It was the first time he noticed that his mother's hands were so wrinkled and there were so many bruises in her hands. Some bruises were so painful that his mother winced when he touched it. This was the first time the youth realized that it was this pair of hands that washed the clothes every day to enable him to pay the school fees. The bruises in the mother's hands were the price that the mother had to pay for his education, his school activities, and his future. After cleaning his mother's hands, the youth quietly washed all the remaining clothes for his mother. That night, mother and son talked for a very long time. Next morning, the youth went to the director's office. The director noticed the tears in the youth's eyes when he asked, Can you tell me what you have done and learned yesterday in your house? The youth answered, I cleaned my mother's hand and also finished cleaning all the remaining clothes. I know now what appreciation is. Without my mother, I would not be who I am today. By helping my mother, only now do I realize how difficult and tough it is to get something done on your own. I have come to appreciate the importance and value of helping one's family. The director said, This is what I am looking for in a manager. I want to recruit a person who can appreciate the help of others, a person who knows the sufferings of others to get things done, and a person who would not put money as his only goal in life. You are hired. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus weeps as he enters Jerusalem. Jesus wept in his human form because he foresaw what will happen to him. He will suffer and meet his death with the choice of the people of a rebel against Rome, Barabbas over him. They fail to choose the path to peace. We all make choices in life. Some have a happy conclusion. Others we will regret. Our Lord wants us to make the right choices, that which would be similar to what he would choose. He weeps when we make the wrong choice. We too weep when we experience pain and suffering. In this COVID-19 time, losing a job leaves us fearful and constantly anxious. Those who are sick and lonely feel powerless and defeated against an invisible enemy. The rich suffer from depression as their wealth cannot give them happiness. Our youth are confused and drained by the barrage of pressures they confront daily. I remember the story of two little teardrops floating down the river of life. One said to the other, Who are you? It replied, I am a teardrop from a girl who loved a man and lost him. And who are you? The first responded, Well, I am a teardrop from the girl who got him. Life is like that. We cry over things we cannot have. If we only knew it, we would probably cry more if we had received them. Paul had the right idea when he said, I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. Indeed, when the choices we make do not live up to our expectations, we may reach our point of tears. But our tears can become a watershed of newness that drains away our stained past so that we can begin anew. Newness starts with a relationship with God that becomes deeper, more permanent, more meaningful, and is filled with exuberant joy. 
Jesus does not shed tears of surrender on us. He sheds tears of love, of faithfulness, in the face of our own rejection of Him, just like a mother who weeps as she washes our clothes, enduring her own rejection from us. If we are to live in contentment and peace, in the land of no regrets, we must let the Holy Spirit lead us to the choices that will bring us to eternal salvation. Then and only then will Jesus shed tears of joy at who we have become. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, let me choose the path to peace. Let me choose you over the path leading to my destruction, to the destruction of my soul. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.